Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. That was a great win. Uh, it's one of the best wins. Um, I've been doing this a long time. To not start the game well again, we got to we got to fix it. We got to get we got to be better. We were flat and weren't good. Indiana was terrific. Um, you know, I, I think we I think we fed off our fans. The second half, without a crowd, was incredible for students being gone. Um, it was loud in there and it gave us a lot of energy. Um, and we started to play with a lot more energy about the last seven minutes of the first half. And then I thought the second half, we were really good again. And, um, you know, Anthony had his spurts when he was really good. Bruno had his spurts when he was really good. You know, Ricky Lindo really gave us big minutes tonight. Um, and we were much better defensively. But, you know, we just, we had one turnover in the second half. We're getting much more poised. I think our offense is, Indiana's guarded it as well as anybody's guarded it. And eventually we were able to, you know, Break it down a little bit, keep playing through Bruno and Anthony getting to the rim. So I think we had 51 points in the second half. Um, so it was just an incredible win because uh, we were not very good at the start, but give Indiana a ton of credit. Questions, please. Mark, Mark is this an example of how uh, Bruno and, and Anthony have grown this year, especially <laughs> Anthony looking at the game that had Indiana last year, where he tried to do it almost himself when it was out. This year, he did it, you know, with with Bruno, and just really took control of the game. Yeah, well, they both improved so much, um, and there's there's really good, we have really good players. I mean, everybody plays is a really good player. We're able to space the floor, and you know, Eric Isle made some big time plays. But no, we have a lot of confidence in Anthony, and we know we need him to do great things. We also have a ton of, of confidence in um, in Bruno. And I, I love the poise we played with that Anthony or Bruno had the ball in their hands uh, almost every possession uh, late in the game. And that's just guys growing up, understanding, younger guys understanding where we need, how, how we need to play. And it takes a while to get where we're going, but you know, we're, we're getting better. We've really improved um, since Christmas and we wouldn't have won that game before Christmas. We wouldn't have figured it out, but we've gotten a lot better. And we're in the front. With being down at halftime, and it's not the first time you guys have come back to win, what about this team gives it that ability to respond, and how encouraging is that going forward? Well, I'd like to be up a little bit more at halftime moving forward, um, and hopefully we can become a better first-half team. But ever since I had this team in Italy this summer, there's something about them I can't explain, okay? Uh, and I think it's about how much they care about each other, how much they love each other. Um, and how they play f hard for each other. I think that's really what it is, but there's just something in them. And it took us a while to get comfortable in the regular season, but I think you can see us getting more comfortable um, and winning some big games. Mark, to kind of build off your answer to Don, you know, with Anthony and Berto, some, is this kind of game kind of a case of your stars have to be stars sometimes? Yeah. And how much of an insurance policy do you see that as, as knowing that you have that in the back? Well, I love how they play, um, and they've been pretty consistent. You know, it's good to see, you know, Anthony was really playing well, and now he's taking it to another level. And we knew he would. He wasn't making shots the way Anthony can make shots. Now he's starting to make shots. It makes him really hard to guard. Um, but we'd like to be a little more be a little more consistent with the rest of the guys moving forward. Um, you know, obviously it wasn't sticks his night. You know, Ricky step, stepped up, and uh, Aaron Wiggins made some shots. Sorrell just helps us so much defensively. So I think we have a lot of confidence in everybody that plays, but it's nice when you have two guys that, you know, can figure out how to get some points to, to help you win the game. Mary, Mark, you, you talked about maybe how you wouldn't have won this game a month ago. A month from now, what can you yeah. see the potential has? Yeah, I mean, we got a huge upside. I think we, we talk about it in the locker room all the time. And, um, we're in the middle of a serious grind right now. Not that there's ever an easy game in our league, but we're going every three days. So 
we're not able to practice as much, but we are getting better in games. Um, so that, that's good for us. But yeah, I, I'd like to think how far we've come since December 27th. Where can we be on February 1st? Where can we be on February 15th? We'll see, um, because it's a willing team. I told them not to come to the gym tomorrow, I'll take the day off, but there'll be 10 guys in here shooting tomorrow, working on the game, I promise you that. Uh, Mark, uh, coming into the game, if you'd been, if you'd have known that uh, Lionford and Morgan were going to have the, the type of games that they had, Lionford had I think, 28 points and 14 shots. Would you have felt great about your team's chances knowing that? And and how, what does it say about them that they were able to come up with a win despite Indiana's you know heavy hitters doing what they do? Yeah, Morgan, that kid's pretty special. What he's done, and, and Lankford was as advertised, one of the top five players coming out of the country. Uh, coming out of high school last year. So, um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Langford really heated up late. We couldn't guard him. And um, we fouled him and kind of got him going. And he hasn't been a great foul shooter for them, but I think he made every one of them. Um, so, got to give him credit. Big time environment. The kid stepped up. That's why he's who he says you know, he is. But Morgan's the guy that's just amazing. It's 6 7 what he does. And lucky for us, he didn't get the jump shot going tonight. And I thought, that was big for us. James in the back. Morgan came out of halftime and made that bucket, and then you guys went on a 16 yeah. run. What was the key to that? Well, I was frustrated because we walked through that play, and we knew that he was diving for a layup or slipping the ball screen for a layup, and we didn't guard it right, and I was a little bit. But then we executed at the other end, and we got a few stops. Then they missed a few open ones for us, which is always helpful. And then we were just great offensively, you know, and we got, we got out running. You know, Anthony can go 80 minutes a game, you know, he can go, he, he's in great shape and he really helped us push the ball. And then we just play with boys, we got a shot every time. And that's that's important. And we weren't doing that a month ago, we were turning it over 16 or 17 times. And I don't, I can't see these. Well, I know we only have one in the second half. So that's a big, another big step for us. Yeah. <coughs> um, Mark, during that run, you went to the zone, they scored a couple of times and you went back to the zone to show the other night. I think it was the same zone. It wasn't different. Zone. Yeah. Okay. That means we weren't pressuring very much. Uh, but but it but it did it did sort of it, you could see that they didn't adjust to what they scored I think once off of it. But it it sort of helped you sort of get through that patch. Yeah. How how important is it to have that ability now to sort of people know that okay Mellon's not going to just play man to man and yeah. And, and well we played man the whole game but there was a couple guys that we could zone up against and maybe that's what we saw. <laughs> And um, which means we played smarter defensively. Uh, we didn't know all the time, but you know, one thing I'm on these guys about is just playing smarter defensively, scouting report. Like we're not supposed to let Langford drive baseline. Well, he got baseline a few times tonight, right? He's terrific going baseline. And so we're getting there, you know, but as far as zoning up and, and guarding the right way, you know, there was a stretch we were really, really good. Peter, Mark, um, back to Jalen for a minute. There was a point when you brought him out uh, in the first half and his body language was not good at all. How important is it for him to see that he can have a night like this and his teammates pick him up? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. And it should take the pressure off him. He just needs to relax. And I don't, you know, I've seen Sticks play a lot of games, but he, you know, it was one of those nights, tripping over his feet, fumbling balls. And I felt bad for him, you know, because he's such a terrific player. He came off his best game of the year. so. It's humbling for him, but love the kid. I know he's going to bounce back and play great on Monday night. Hell, he might have 20. Who knows? He's, he's, he's capable of doing some things like that. Last one, Barry. Mark, I, I was almost going to ask the same thing, but what did, does it give you confidence that you can have a major offensive player not really produce anything and you beat a good team? Yeah. And that's, got to, that's got to say something about the whole. Yeah, and everybody's going to talk about his offense because he was 0 for 9. Um, but defensively, he wasn't locked in either, and he's he's become a really good team defender and uh, defender for us. And so it was at both ends uh, tonight. But yeah, it says a lot when I mean, Ricky Lindo can come in and do what he what he did. I, I tell you what, we had the four freshmen out there with Anthony, and I almost subbed Eric in because Anthony looked like he was getting a little tired. And we, I was almost had the five freshmen out there. But those guys, we got confidence in. Them. Thanks, coach. All right, guys.